esto. <risa> Todavía no he traído mi café. Ah, Hoy no lo he traído. Me, me, no. me hace falta. ¿Ah? Me hace falta el café ya. Good afternoon. Ya llegó la, li la teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, teacher. Bye. You're fine. Great. Hi, Denilson, Lupita, and Ruth. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Por puntuales nos tiene que dar un premio. ¿Qué les damos? Cuando nos reunimos, pues. Ay, vea. Ya bueno, ¿y por qué no? Why not, right? ¿A dónde vive usted, teacher? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde vives? Cerca del Salvador del Mundo. ¿Dónde, es? ¿Dónde ah, queda pues está cerca. trabajo? ¿En serio? ¿Estamos cerca? Sí. ¿Por dónde? Estamos en la colonia Escalón. Ah, ok. Después del Redondel Mazarrer. Ah, ok, sí, ya. Estamos súper sí. cerca. ¡Wow! Un viernes, veámonos. Perfect. It would be perfect, yes. Usted pasa muy ocupado. No, si me invitan yo voy. Recuerden que eh, muchas veces ah. trabajo desde casa y sí, yo hago mi tiempo. Así que, it would be great. Ah, ah. <ríe> yes, right. Es muy importante. Sí. Ok, la vamos a planear, Ruth. Planeemos, sí. planeemos, right. Sí. Exactly. Tiene que ser viernes, que no haya clases. Ya, viernes que no haya clases. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver. Time to start hello. the class. Hello, hello. Hi, Gustavo. <laughs> Hi, teacher. How are you? I get un momento los audífonos, pero no le escuché. Okay, don't worry. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. Excellent. Yanira. How are you, Yanira? <laughs> Where have you been, Yanira? Hi, teacher. ¿Dónde ha estado, Yanira? Uh, uh -huh. Casi no le oigo. La abuela está esperando que lo salude, teacher. ¿En dónde ha estado Yanira? Ay, enfermita, teacher. ¿En serio? ¿Really? ¿Pero cómo nos uh -huh. sentimos ya? ¿Better? ¿Do you feel better? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. mejor. Mejor. Uh -huh. mejor. Muy bien. Yes. Ok, hi, Jorge. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, but... But... <laughs> I tied it because I suppose that that is Friday, but it's <laughs> mm -hmm. you're feeling tired today. Okay. Yes. There we go. Glenda. Hello, Glenda. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Glenda? So so. Why? <clears throat> ya quiero que sea fin de semana. Yes, right. We are waiting for Saturday. Same here. Lo mismo acá. Same here. I'm waiting for Saturday weekend. I really need to to rest. You know, it has been a very hard week. Hey, Gaby. Hello, Gaby. How do you feel today, Gaby? Hi, Jer. I feel tired too. Tired? I mean, yes. Okay. I waiting um weekend. <laughs> weekend, right? We are waiting yes. for weekend. Yes, we do. Samuel, let me say hi to Samuel. No te escuchamos. We cannot. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, you see, hi, hi. Sí, ya lo escuchamos, ¿verdad? How are you, Samuel? Hello. Uh, con sueño. Con sueño, sí. <ríe> sleepy. Sleepy. Con sueño. Sleepy. Bien. ¿Quién me falta saludar? Who am I missing? Ya dijimos Lupita, Edenilson, Ruth. They were the three first ones, you know, to be on time in this class. And here we go. Let me show you what is the topic for today. Nicole, 
<laughs> no, not really. <laughs> section number three. In today's class, we are going to finish with section number three. What's your neighborhood like? We have been talking about neighborhood places and also describing what places can we find in our neighborhood. For example, cafes, shopping malls, drug stores, and all of those places that we can find in the neighborhood. The topic that we have for today, it's about quantifiers. And among the topic, we are going to find how many and how much quantifiers. What comes to your mind whenever we say quantifiers? ¿De qué será este tema? Quantifiers. Bien, bien, aquí. Mm -hmm. What is this about? Quantifiers. No, no, no. No, estoy aquí en la ¿A qué lo toman o a qué lo ven similar en español? Quantifiers. What is this about? It could be things that we can count or not. What is your opinion, class? Cosas que podemos contar o no. Quantifiers. Look at this expression. Quantifiers. What is this about? Okay. Teacher places or or what? It could be places. As we are talking about the neighborhood, probably, right? Talking about places. But keep in mind that whenever we say this expression, quantifiers, is cosas que podemos contabilizar, contar. Mm -hmm. Hay diferentes tipos de quantifiers. Vamos a ver ahora cuáles son. And we also have two expressions. Miren, si se fijan, inicia con how. Que nos indica que van a ser preguntas. That we are going to have questions using how many and how much. Cuando usamos how many class? Cuando podemos contarlos. And remember that the expression how much it is used to ask whenever we cannot count places, objects, right? How many and how much? So this is the introduction. But for this, we are going to have a listening practice. Well, this is a conversation. Let me share this again. It's a conversation. Um, that is called, it's pretty safe. We are going to review about this topic today, the pronunciation, the vocabulary, and then you're going to be practicing because I need you to practice pronunciation. Look at this example that we have here, and then we are going to practice. Here How we they go. answer them. Remember, count nouns and here we go. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Let's listen the second time. Here In we this go. session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. 
It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, let's review the vocabulary this and the grammar study, topic. How many and how much? Please notice how they ask questions. Okay, and here we have the conversation. Who is talking on the phone? What is this girl's name? What's her name, please? What is her name? Pam. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pam. So this is a nickname or a short form of saying which name? What is her real name? What do you think about her real name? Pamela. Could be. Yeah, right? Probably her name is Pamela. But Pam. And who is the other person on the phone? Nick. Nick, and this is also a short name, a nickname. So what is his real name? Nicolas. Probably <laughs> Nicolas, right? So Nick and Pam. How do you like? How do you like your new apartment? Do you remember this expression, this question? How do you like it? How do you like your new apartment? What is this about? ¿Se acuerdan para qué usábamos esta pregunta? How do you like it? To ask about likes and dislikes. How do you like your new apartment? ¿Te gusta tu nuevo apartamento? How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Where is her apartment located. Look, downtown. Where is it? Where is it located? In the suburbs or in downtown? In downtown. And what is the meaning of downtown? Uh, como el centro de la ciudad. Mm -hmm. En el centro de la ciudad. ¿Se acuerdan? Estuvimos viendo eso. Places in downtown, right. And suburbs. What is that? ¿Se acuerdan de los suburbs o suburbios? In this case, it's not there. It is a very convenient place. She is living in a very convenient place. What is a synonym for convenient? Jorge, what, what is your idea about this word? It's very convenient. Convenient. Why? Uh -huh. Why is she expressing that her new apartment is very convenient? Mm. What are the reasons why she is expressing that it's very convenient? ¿Qué piensan, class? What do you think, Jorge? Podría ser conveniente que, o sea, le queda cercano a todo o algo así. Ok, muy bien. La primera razón que ella da es muy conveniente. Yes, actually that is the meaning in Spanish. Because it is in downtown. Y todo en downtown le queda cerca. Muy bien, so it's very convenient. Downtown is there much noise. Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean 
place just around the corner. Just around the corner. What is this expression about? ¿Qué significa esto? Just around the corner. Es una dirección a la it's verdad. the ubication. Mm -hmm. Where is this Korean place or this Korean restaurant? Just around the corner. ¿Qué significaría en español? Justo a la vuelta de la esquina o algo a así. A la vuelta de la esquina. Muy bien. Es a la vuelta de la esquina. So there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Okay. So, le vuelvo a preguntar, why is it convenient? ¿Por qué es conveniente, Luke? Because she is living in downtown. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otra ventaja le hayan de que viva en downtown? ¿Por, por qué es convenient? Look. Barato. Uh -huh. Y porque también hay muchos restaurantes. Ok. Siguiente pregunta, what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? Is there no, much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Miren lo que dice ella. It's pretty safe. Esta expresión... No. Pretty, en este caso, lo ocupamos para resaltar. No significa bonito en este caso. Pretty is to, um, how can I say this? Yes, as I mentioned before, to give like a, this a strong like comment, right? Resaltar es muy seguro. It's pretty safe, it's pretty intelligent, it's pretty late, you know? Pría es, es muy, muy seguro. Muy, muy. Entonces, pretty in this context, it's about this. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call you back later. ¿Qué pasó al final de la situación? ¿Qué creen que pasó? What happened? Le robaron. Le robaron el carro. So, is it pretty safe or not? I guess not, right? It's not safe. It's not safe at all. So expressions. Vamos a las expresiones. Number one. First question. Is there much noise? How many restaurants are there near your place? What about parking? What about parking? Pero veamos, pongamos sí. esta. Yes, there aren't time? many parking garage. Ya vamos a ver por qué estas. Y esta, is there much crime? Si se fijan, ¿qué expresiones estamos utilizando acá? Oh. In these four questions. Hay dos expresiones que usamos. Many. What to be? And? Much. Much. And much. Muy bien. ¿Podemos o no podemos contar? Lo que nos está preguntando. Let's find out. Veamos si podemos. Le dije Mosh, que utilizábamos Mosh. many para cosas que sí podemos contar. For example, is there much? Miren, podemos contar el ruido. No. No, por eso utilizamos no. much. Mosh. Noise, no lo podemos contar. Restaurants, podemos contar los restaurantes. Sí. Yes, we Pastor can, Samuel. por eso ocupamos many. Can we count the parking garage? Los estacionamientos? Yes, we can. That's why we are using many. Can we count crime? We cannot. That's why we are using the expression much. Okay, cuatro ejemplos. De preguntas y una afirmación usando many and much. Okay, let me repeat the information again. We are going to use many with countable nouns 
and much with non-countable nouns, okay? Mm -hmm. So it is time to practice the conversation with your classmates. Let's listen the last time so you can practice the correct pronunciation. And after that, we are going to practice in pairs. Here we this go. This time we'll study how many and how much. Okay. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Great. So here we go. Let me send this picture with the conversation. And I'm going to be listening to you. After that, we are coming back to the main session. And I am going to listen to you. Okay. Aquí vamos, chicos. Let's go and practice. Recuerden, compartir la pantalla ayuda mucho. So one of your one of your group, you can be sharing a screen with the conversation. Let me see. Aquí vamos. Okay, pairs. Let's go. Hello, Rita. Hello, Rita. Hola, hola. Puedes compartir el la, la conversación. Gustavo, fíjate que aprovechando tu parte técnica, este no me puedo conectar a la, a la cámara, me sale. Uh -huh. Me sale así como, como congelado. Ahí lo vemos. Bye. Que... Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. Ok. okay. Your... Vos, Nick. Yes. Nick, Nick Pam. and Pam. Okay. How do Bye. you like your new apartment? I love it. it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there is uh, any. I live on the fifth fifth uh, float. How many restaurants are there in your place? A lot. It, in the facts, there is an excellent Korea place just around the corner. What's about parking? Well, there is aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. 
Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold, column. That is my car alarm. I. Uh, well, there aren't many parking garage boots. I usually find a place on the street. Is there much a crime? No, it's pretty safe. All on that. My car alarm is called you back later. Oh, you stay, Nick. Okay. How did you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So, so... Wow. They aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Um, change. I am found. But Same. Me. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. Floor. Are they near your place? A lot in fact, there's an um, excellent Korean place at around the corner. No, le falta. Oh, Usted va a decir, what about? No, yo un rato ubique, como que no llamamos un internet. ¿En cuál? ¿En what about? What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking. Tichera, eh, aprovechando que estás, que como dice garage, o así garage. Yes, garage, okay. it's the same, garage, yes. Okay. Y where is where? Of... Okay, let me show you the conversation. Which one? Quiero ver cuál. And they say, pan, they say, después de what about parking? What about, ahí está, dice, ay, where is it? No lo veo. Mande. ¿En qué parte está? Eh, no, casi llegando a la, donde dice. Pam, Pam or Nick. Ajá. Pam or Nick. Dice. Um, oh, Nick, what about parking? Uh -huh. What what about parking? El otro, pero es igual o como? Well, mm -hmm. well. Y sería de, después de garage, but o but? But, mm -hmm. but. But, ah, ok. Great. Ok, tenía dos ahí. Entonces, Lupita, pregúntame por de, lo de what. Is there much, right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's pretty south or on the that my car's alarm in call you back later. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't <laughs> any. I live on the fifth floor. How oh, many restaurants are there near your place? I know, in fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about uh, parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty, pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. 
I called you back later. There we go, time to come back. Great, I was listening to your pronunciation and there are some words that we still need to practice, okay? There are some words. For example, in this word, the correct pronunciation, let me show you the conversation. It's like this. Miren acá, chicos. Hold on, hold on. If you see, we can have this linking sound. Se los muestro acá. Hold on. Wait a minute, no me aparece el lápiz. ¿Por qué? Si se fijan, termina con consonante y la siguiente es una vocal. Por eso podemos unirlas y decir hold on, hold on, no hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. ¿Y qué significa hold on? Es un verbo, hold. ¿Qué significa el verbo hold? Esperar. Espera. ¿Cómo espera? En hold on, ya unido, es una expresión como espera. Espera ahí. Hold on. That's my car alarm. Está también. Está escuchando. Alarm. Acuérdense la M al final. Alarm. Otra palabra. Korean. Korean. También. Korean. Restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. Ok. Esa también. Around. Restaurants, Korean, around, alarm, hold on, hold on. And pretty. It's not pretty, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty safe. Pretty safe. Very good job. So I'm just going to have two pairs in order so you can practice your speaking. And after that, remember that in section number three, we also have the midterm exams. We are going to be checking the content in the midterm exam today. Let me have Janira and who were you practicing with, Janira? Con quien practicó, eh, Janira? Mm -hmm. Josué. So, Janina and Josue, sí. I really need you to nah. practice right now, please. Que empecemos. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there in near your place? A lot, in fact. There's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. There we go, excellent. Look at these expressions or words that I have here. Miren la primera, let's repeat class. Convenient, convenient. Convenient. It's very convenient. 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 Yo dije convenient. Muy bien. Convenient. 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 Not really. Convenient. No. Suena más español si decimos convenient. And it's not the correct pronunciation. 
La otra, veamos. Just. 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 Mm -hmm. Just. There we go. Just. Y en este, podemos también hacer lo mismo. Termina con consonante e inicia con vocal. What about? What about? What about parking? What about parking? And the verb find. I usually find a place on the street. I usually find a place on the street. Great job. Yanira, elija quién va a participar ahora. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Ede. Ede Nilsson. Ede. Uh -huh. Ede Nilsson. Con Debe todavía me reso. Okay. Muy bien, Yanira. Thank you. Ede Nilsson, who were you practicing with? Eh, Jorge Arantes. Okay, so Jorge and Ede Nilsson. Go, please. How do you like, how do you like your new apartment? Or antes? <laughs> I love it. I it's downtown, so it's very com convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot of, in fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parkings, garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, hold on. that's my car. Alarm. I called you back later. Okay. Once again, only this expression. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Así muy bien. Hold on. Hold there on. we go. Great job. Let me have the last participants. Jorge, pick some volunteers so they can read. Mm. Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela. Who was your partner, Gabriela? Who Samuel. were you working with? Samuel. Okay, Samuel. Go, please. Ah. <laughs> ah, yo. Samuel. Yes, Samuel. Vamos, Samuel. I know you bueno. can do it. Vamos. Bueno. Who I do you me. like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, uh, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Uh, who many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, uh, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Uh, what about parking? Uh, well, uh, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much, there, is there much cream? cream? Um, no. It's pretty safe. How done that my car alarm. I called you back later. There we go. Thank you, Gabby and Samuel. Let's repeat again, class. Convenient. 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 Convenient, convenient, convenient. 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 No, convenient. There convenient. we go. Garage singular. Y en plural, ¿cómo sería? Garage. La, es el final, garage. Garage. Ajá, garage. garage. Ahí se convierte en plural. Crime. Ah, okay. Crime. Crime. Mm -hmm. 
Crime. 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 Muy bien. No, that's okay. Crime. Very good job, class. You see, you are improving pronunciation. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien cada vez. Vámonos al midterm exam. Me interesa ver cómo estamos con los ejercicios de la plataforma. There is and there are. Creo que este... ¿Cómo vamos? Completamos ya este ejercicio. There is and there are. Easy. Let's identify. Noise. ¿Podemos contar el noise? No, right? No podemos. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar si no podemos contar? Many or much? Much. Much. So, number one is much. Number two, can we count restaurants? Many. Yes, we can. So, it's many. Muy bien, clase. Crime. Can we count crime? We no. cannot. So, much. many or much? Much. much. Traffic. Can we count traffic? No, it's much. No, we cannot. It's much. Apartment buildings. Can we count apartment buildings? Yes, we can. So, is it many or much? Janita. It's many. Many. Very good job. And as you may see, here we have some other quantifiers. Tenemos otros quantifiers. A few and a little. Many and much son otros ejemplos de quantifiers. Right. ¿Qué significa few and a little? Similar. Hablamos de poco. Pero... Uno es, contable. Uno es contable y el otro no es contable. Vamos a ver cuál si se puede contar o no. There is a few, a little pollution. A little. A little. Entonces, ¿qué nos indica? Que cuando utilizamos a little, no lo podemos contar. A few, yes, we can count. Here we go. There is, yes, Gabby, what did you say about this one, number one? There is a little pollution. Okay, veamos, veamos a chequear, a little pollution. Number two, Ruth, shopping centers. Podemos contar los shopping centers. Can we count shopping centers? Yes or not? Uh, no. Glenda, can we count shopping centers? Yes, yes. Of yes a few. se pueden contar. Ah, sí los podemos contar. Y si podemos contarlos, ¿qué expresión utilizamos, Ruth? A, a few, few or a little. A few. So, a few. Sí podemos contarlos. Schools, can we count schools? Yes or no? One school, two schools, yes. Janina, what are we going to use then? A little or a few? A few. Muy bien. Traffic. Otra vez hasta tráfico por acá. Can we count traffic? No, no podemos contar el tráfico. What is the expression that we need to use? A little. A little. And number five, traffic lights. Los semáforos. Can we count traffic lights mm. in the city? Yes, yes, we can. So the correct expression is a few. Very good job, a few. Otros quantifiers. Aquí hay un tercer ejemplo de quantifiers. Y esos sería este, any. Some and any también son parte de ese grupo, de los quantifiers. Some and any. But in this case, as it is a negative expression, we are going to use any, isn't any for singular, and aren't any for plural. Y aquí nos dice, recordemos los contables y los no contables. Siempre que algo no se pueda contar, va a ser singular. Ok. Number one. Taxis in this part of town. 
Podemos contar los taxis, Samuel. Can we count taxis? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So, Gustavo, what is the correct one here? Isn't or aren't? Aren't. Aren't any. Vamos a ver. There aren't any mm. taxis in this part of town. There we go. Lupita, number two. Traffic. Podemos contarle tráfico, Lupita. She's not there, Ivania. Can we count traffic? Isn't, isn't any. So we cannot, sure. So the correct one is isn't because it's singular. Isn't any. Rita, public transportation. Can we count public transportation? Yes or no? Yes. Será, hay un public transportation, two public transportation, three public, I guess not. I don't know, it's certain. We cannot, entonces. No. Si no podemos, siempre es singular. Isn't? Isn't any. Isn't any. Muy bien. Parking spaces. ¿Quién me falta? Let me see. ¿Quién más tengo por aquí? Josué. Y Elenilson se me está escondiendo. Josué y Elenilson. <risa> ya lo he. Y como no ponen su cámara, chicos, solo veo su fondo. Josué, can we count parking spaces? Podemos contar los parking spaces. One parking space, two parking spaces, three oh, parking spaces. Yes. yes. Y si podemos contar los que vamos a utilizar. Isn't or um, aren't. Aren't any. Muy bien. Todas estas son eh, negative statements. Estamos diciendo que no hay, ¿ok? No hay ningún parqueo. Y la última, Ellen Nilsson. Go ahead, please. Can we count crime? Podemos contar el crime. I guess he's not there, right? Is he there or not? Ahí está, ahí está. Hello, teacher. Ah, hello, por fin escucha a Ellen Nilsson. ¿Cómo estamos? Good morning. Good ah, morning. <laughs> <laughs> si se puede contar el crimen. Ajá. No. No, entonces, ¿qué utilizamos? Isn't, entonces, any isn't. or aren't. Muy bien, ah, isn't. isn't. Esa es la lógica que necesito que ocupemos para responder. Contables y no contables. Vamos a ver. Ahí estamos, clase. Comparemos las respuestas de el exercise. What exercise is this one? 3.9. There we go. Tenemos 10 minutos más para el midterm exam. ¿Qué es esto? Eso es un reading text, right? Dejemos el reading text for the end because this is Teacher, easier. Tell me. Esto estaba difícil. Really? ¿Lo sintieron difícil el reading text? Sí. De un poco. Yes. No, es mucho. Yo no lo he terminado. No lo han terminado. Ah, pues vámonos al reading text. Vendo copia. No, mejor hagámoslo todos juntos. Vendo copias. Come on. Gracias, Helen Nilsson, que ya está por ahí. Nos va a ayudar. Vamos a ver. Let me see. ¿De qué se trata este reading text? The world in one neighborhood. El mundo en un vecindario. Si se fijan, hay varias técnicas de lectura. Número uno. Podemos identificar lo que nos están preguntando. Y voy y justo busco esa información. Número dos, leo toda la información. Pero es muy probable que se me olvide. Por eso me gusta más la técnica de look for specific information. Aquí tienen la indicación. What is the instruction? ¿Qué dice la indicación? Eden Nilsson. ¿Qué está? En eh? the red box. ¿Qué nos está pidiendo hacer? Scan the article. Ajá. ¿Y qué significaría scan? ¿Qué es eso? Como leerlo, como revisarlo. 
¿Sería leerlo completamente o escanear, como le llamamos? Scan. It's the same verb as in Spanish. Ah, ok. Como ah. solo escanearlo. Buscar specific information. Look for specific information. Nos pide scan. Desde ahí, yo sé lo que tengo que hacer. Y the countries, check the countries that are not mentioned. Primera indicación. Y qué categorías tengo acá? Inexpensive stores, big apartments, good schools. Y tengo muchos lugares. ¿Qué vamos a hacer entonces en el ejercicio? Chequeemos los que en este caso me aparecen o no. No sé si alguien ya lo tiene completo para que lo pueda mostrar a la clase. Y de ahí solo explicamos cómo va el título. Si no, déjenme revisar algo. Vaya, ya se lo voy a proyectar otra vez. Here we go. Okay, what places? ¿Qué dice? Read the article and marque las cosas que pueden, que se pueden encontrar en este lugar, ok? Astoria. Hay seis, hay seis cosas que se pueden hacer. Solo seis. De este pasaje solo hay seis cosas. Inexpensive stores. Inexpensive stores. Let me see. Inexpensive stores. Okay, aquí estamos. Sidewalks. Ok, let's look for this word. Busquemos por esta palabra, inexpensive stores. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dresses. Let me see. Teacher. ¿En qué párrafo está? No, number three. Veamos, uh... Astoria. Aquí estamos en Astoria. It says, in number three, ahí está, ya lo vi. Look, it's surprising, it isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are Sorry. inexpensive stores, inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. In Astoria, it's a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As one longtime resident says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Aquí está. Veamos que nos dice de Astoria. Tiene inexpensive stores, yes or no? Yes. 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 Big apartments, big yes. apartments. Yes. Yes. Por ahí vi los big apartments. Good schools, buenas escuelas. No. No, no menciona good schools. Beautiful beaches, no menciona nada de playas. Great markets, great markets. Mencionó yes. los markets. Yes. Yes. Nice restaurants. Yes. yes. Many different cultures. Veamos yes. de las culturas. Yes, it's there. Apartments. Pero de la cultura no dice nada, o sí. No. It's a different cultures. Interesting, interesting old buildings. No. No mencione in good public transportation. Yes. Si lo menciona, look. Good public transportation is the key. 
a Astoria. Solo nos basamos en esta. So, veamos cómo nos va. En 34 de 34. No se menciona good schools, beautiful beaches, and interesting old buildings. Son tres las que no vamos a marcar, ¿ok? Good schools, beautiful beaches, and interesting old buildings. Ahí estamos. With section number three. ¿Completaron ya todos esta sección, el reading text? Yes. Sí, lo tenemos completo. Yes. Muy bien. Let's take a look about, we only have, okay, five minutes. Podemos hacer mucho en cinco minutos. Here we go. Next. The first one is a listening exercise. But let's take a look at this one. If you see, you are going to complete these questions using long, good, often, and well. Se recuerdan eh, de la clase que estuvimos cubriendo. ¿Cuáles utilizamos para preguntar frecuencia? Sería... Often and. ¿Se recuerdan de ese ejercicio que tuvimos? Preguntamos sobre frecuencia y performance. ¿Cómo lo hago y qué tan frecuente lo hago? Yes. Muy bien. Entonces, para frecuencia es long and often. Y para performance, ¿cómo lo hago? Si lo hago bien and well. ¿Cuál utilizábamos con el verbo to be? Quiero ver si tengo esa presentación. Let me see. Veamos los dos primeros ejercicios. Eso es lo que tienen que recordar. How do you work out? Look. Every day. Está hablando de tiempo en específico. How often. Often. ¿Por qué? Porque me está diciendo días. Cuando tenga expresiones de tiempo, por ejemplo aquí, 30 minutes a day, también me pregunta por frecuencia, pero en este caso ocupo la expresión long, long. porque está utilizando tiempo. Muy bien. Y para... La número dos que dice, do you play tennis? ¿Qué tan bien juegas tenis? Mm, cerca de el average. O como, si se fijan, how. Well. How well. Y acá, como me está utilizando el verbo to be, en la número cuatro, no puedo utilizar well. Good. Ocupo, good. There we go. Often, well, long, and good. And in this conversation, solo es la forma correcta en pasado. Creo que esta forma sí está un poco más fácil. Yes. En esta, it's the correct answer. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Y como me preguntan de una sola gas station y me está diciendo en afirmativo, la expresión que ocupo es one. Wow, wow. Así tienen que basarse. La número dos me pregunta en plural, hoteles. Y es afirmativa, how many. Wow. La número tres es una afirmación y como ya estoy hablando de hoteles, tiene que ser una expresión en plural. En este caso es a few. A few. Public transportation no lo puedo contar. ¿Qué ocupo? Much. 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 Y me habla siempre del public transportation because it's singular. No, there isn't any because any, it is for 
negative. And this is the way that you are going to answer this one. Look at this one. Rewrite the scrambled sentences. Coloquemos las palabras en orden para hacer oraciones o preguntas. Easy. Siempre que va al inicio de una oración afirmativa. El sujeto. Tengo una y dos expresiones afirmativas. Busquen el sujeto, verbo, complemento. O sujeto, auxiliar, verbo y complemento. Depende de lo que les están pidiendo. Para la pregunta, ¿qué necesito tener al inicio? Un auxiliar, do. Luego del auxiliar, sujeto, verbo y complemento. ¿Ok? En the last part, la última para aquí, es una lectura. Siempre vayan y busquen por specific information. Lea la carta que Ruth nos dejó. Ah, Ruth nos dejó una carta por acá. Thank y, you, Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. Gracias por escribir, Ruth. Y aquí van a responder cuatro son... Esta creo que es la más larga. Verdadero o falso. ¿Ok? Cualquier cosa, cualquier pregunta del de examen que tenemos en la section number three, you can ask me as well. ¿Ok? So, please, try to finish with that activity today or tomorrow. So, on Monday we can have section number four. Questions about these activities, comments about the topics from today? If not, let's stop the class here. And I really hope you to have a great afternoon and a great Friday and a great weekend, okay? And see you on Monday class. Thank you for participating today. Have a great weekend. Great sure. weekend. See you on Monday. Bye bye, chicos. Cuídense mucho. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Take care. Take care.